morning, everybody. I'm Jim Baglaglia from Dermaga. I'm a co-founder and CEO. Um, so we're going to, we don't have a clicker, unfortunately, so we're gonna, just going to do a you know, eye contact thing over here. Um, so you can move to the next slide. So what Nirmaka does is we provide adaptive cloud management uh, for applications themselves. So for whether it's for DevOps teams who are building new cloud native applications, or if you have already applications built and you're deploying these on one another clouds, Nirmaka makes it extremely easy to manage and operate these applications on public clouds, private clouds, or even data centers and more and more, we're seeing also connected devices in the mix of where applications get deployed and run. So we all know and we've all heard the famous phrase that software is eating the world, right? And we've seen that in the technology space, whether it's software-defined data centers, software-defined networking, compute storage. But what's really interesting, and to me as a developer, what's very exciting, is how software is starting to impact our day-to-day -day lives. Um, so more and more what we're seeing is that everything we do with connected you know, vehicles, with connected cities, with smart cities, with things like that, everything we do. You could talk on the, that uh, mic is hot. All right, thank you. So everything we do now is you know, influenced and, uh, by software, and our lives are getting more and more enriched by software. Oh, thank you. So we see today this is not just again like in the technology space, but also in, in you know, how it impacts our lives. And in the coming generations, this is only, the trend is only gonna continue to escalate. So one other exciting thing about this software is it's not just something optional which you can reboot and you know, uh, redeploy when needed, but these are devices, these are functions that we have in our daily lives which have to be always on, they're mission critical, and you cannot afford outages or any you know, failures in these types of operations of this software. So what, what we've seen as part of this trend is that not only is you know, the, the change in how we are influenced by software and what's happening in our world, but the way software is developed and deployed and operated is also evolving. So now more and more we're seeing moving away from you know, installed applications where in the past you would you know, download an application, install it on yourself. Um, a lot of us, for example, if you use Chrome as your browser on your laptop, no, none of us know what version of Chrome we are running because it self-installs, it self-upgrades and self-manages. So we're seeing that come through in all kinds of software and all kinds of business applications also. Uh, one interesting trend we're seeing is now the packaging of software is done in something called containers, which are lightweight you know, virtualization technology for software. And these, uh, the software applications are run in a, using microservices where a larger application can be split into smaller components and each component can be distributed, scaled, and managed independently. So lots of exciting changes also in how software is delivered developed uh, as well as deployed to end users themselves. So, but along with these changes and along with all the progress that I'm talking about, also comes a lot of complexity. So if you are building applications, you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially if you start using one or more uh, cloud computing platforms like AWS or even vSphere or OpenStack for private cloud. So there's so many moving pieces. Your customers now are, ev you know, every software company goes global really fast. So you have users from all across the world and you have a constant churn in terms of big to get to continuous delivery and you know, make, making sure your systems are up and running. There's always a churn in terms of changes going on into the systems. So if you look at that across like, uh, you know, clouds and data centers, the, the change in the user base and with also the change in the software, that's a lot of moving pieces to manage and yet keep things up and running all the time 24-7. So that's where Nirmata comes in and what we do is we provide complete automation of that software lifecycle. So it's adaptive management like I mentioned where we're not only just taking care of the initial deploy, but we're constantly monitoring 24-7 what's going on with each component. We can auto scale up or down various uh, services within your application, and we can also provision infrastructure if needed. So if you have a sudden burst of traffic in one region, 
for your application, we can spin up servers in that region and automatically um, scale up that application for that particular user base. So a little bit more detail on what exactly we do, right? So we build on top of, and this wouldn't have been possible even five years uh, ago, but today with open container technologies and with infrastructure as a service becoming the de facto way of delivering and uh, deploying hardware, what Nirmata does is possible at this point. So we build on top of open container technologies and we provide infrastructure to manage these microservices style applications. So as these small components need to be load balanced, as they need to find each other, um, that is one of the functions that we solve and the pain points we solve. We also do all of the scheduling and operations. So let's say there's a new change, there's a new version upgrade that needs to be delivered. You may want to roll that out across your user bases, collect feedback, and then you know, scale up from there. That's something also that Nirmata can help do through its scheduling engine. We have policies you can set in terms of what infrastructure your teams can use and, and how they can utilize this in, um, across different clouds or data centers. And we provide you know, the complete application lifecycle management so as code changes are being done, these can be automatically delivered and your software gets upgraded in real time. So the net for end users is there's three main pillars of the value that we provide, right? It's agility, so moving to faster development cycles. So as businesses go digital, businesses who deliver faster usually tend to win. So we can enable these faster DevOps cycles for businesses. We also allow cost savings by decoupling the application layer from the underlying infrastructure layer we can do the scheduling and orchestration because it's completely automated. There's less chances for error and more efficiencies that are uh, brought to customers. And finally, it's the flexibility of being able to choose any cloud, not being locked in into a particular infrastructure stack or technology, and to be able to deploy your application, whether it's on-prem, whether it's cloud-based, whether it's on a, you know, a smart vehicle, or even in some cases we have customers deploying software on oil and gas rigs, you know, which have applications which are running there in a distributed fashion. So here's an example of a customer we've been working with for about the last 11 months. So in, in the period that they've used Nirmata, they've deployed over uh, almost like 14,000 containers now, and each container holds a microservice which is a part of their application. And they have 300 virtual machines or hosts which they are connected to Nirmata and they're managing. Um, so Net, what this customer is doing is because they have a large team of developers, they are now uh, leveraging Nirmata to rapidly spin up and down dev test environments. And through their measurements, and they've done a, you know, a report on this internally, is they're seeing about a 40 or 50% efficiency savings in their developer time itself. And of course, developer resources, human time is the most precious of all resources, so that's what we're helping them save. A little bit about our team. So Nirmata, uh, myself and my co-founders and our team, we have deep expertise in management of large-scale distributed systems, and that's what we're bringing to next generation applications everywhere as applications get more mobile and distributed. Um, and so we're a small team, but rapidly growing. Uh, we, uh, the strategy we've adopted so far is to grow with closely with our early customers. And so we are revenue generating and most of our growth is customer funded. So just to kind of wrap up and uh, a little bit of where we are. So software is changing our world and software itself is changing, right? And what Nirmata is doing is now we're uh, changing the way software gets delivered and operated at scale um, for any production application on public or private clouds. Um, we're not currently raising any funds, but we will be in a couple of quarters. So we're looking at making connections. And we, like I mentioned before, our strategy for growth has been to work closely with our customers. Thank you.